What's up, Andrews? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just got myself a spinnaker, um, and this is a cool one. It's a limited edition. You've never seen this before because it's brand new, and from Spinnaker, it is a, a partnership watch. And I also want to see if any of you are interested in having this watch. Are you interested in owning this specific watch right here because if you are i want to hook you up i'm also going to say here just a shameless plug i did just set up a patreon page nobody's supporting it at the moment but there are going to be some awesome giveaways for patreon supporters only so check out the link for the patreon uh, if you want to get in on those because there will be some stuff uh, you know even specifically more of the high dollar stuff is going to go uh you know be a giveaway to uh patreon people so if you want to get in on that soon, do it. Because there's nobody p supporting me on Patreon. If you do that, I'm going to say that you're going to have a good chance of winning the Patreon giveaways. All right? So Spinnaker watches, obviously, with that sailing Spinnaker right there, is a sailing brand watch. I love it. I really love that theme. Oh, and this watch says Spinnaker 49er Class Limited Edition. And why that's important is the 49er Class Sailing Group or, or Association is like, let's call it like small sailboats, small sailboat racing. Um, I was checking out their website, which is I think 49er.org. What they do is they race sailboats and Spinnaker, God bless them, congratulations to them, is the official timekeeper for the 49er Class uh, sailing group this year, which is pretty, pretty awesome. And, and in commemoration of that, what they did here, look at that, this comes off here so it even looks better. Uh, what they did is they designed with the 49er class group a limited edition watch that is all sailing uh, to commemorate that. And they are going to build a limited edition, a limited number of these in kind of a different uh, color schemes that is pretty cool it's a chronograph it comes in this you know plastic box which looks like a you know hardened security box you know like a little pelican, pelican box little handles you can carry your watch like this if you want um so this is pretty cool because i, I love cool packaging on watches this is what you get oh it looks like treasure oh, 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 oh. and here it is man uh this one is actually called is the sp 5049 do you know why they call it the 1450-49, right there, spoiler alert, 49er class. And this is the SP5049, check it out. There's gonna be uh, this model chronograph in a couple of different color combinations. As you can see here, this one is in rose gold. So here's what I tell you, I, I, what I think I know about this watch. And I may be wrong because it's not even released yet. I may not have all of the, the details right, but I think it's 316L stainless steel. This watch is pretty heavy. Uh, you know, I wouldn't say it's super heavy. Um, I have a Tissot diving watch that is way heavier than this, but it's dense. It feels like a quality watch. I believe it's plated here in this rose gold, which looks great. It's like this copper finish. Um, just kind of, kind of sick. Sick looking. And then it has this rubber band and uh, I, you know I'll, I'll tell you that it is just soft I mean I would guess it's like a silicone but I'm a, like it feels like silicone but I would assume it's a little tougher than that um, it reminds me a lot of my Citizen Ultracron band which I think they call like liquid rubber or something just kind of velvety smooth super flexible has a little bit of that soft touch um, some scalloped edges right here you know let's give it a little bit of design some uh, racing grooves right there and you know they, it is a it is a custom fit for this inside curve of the case fits in between these lugs right up against the case so very much like my Arnold and Son or my Altcron you know just gives the watch a really purpose built look you know no no gap in there no unsightly gap where the spring bar and the the watch band don't marry up correctly a couple of uh, straps here and then you have again the rose gold finish brushed finish here with the spinnaker name engraved on the buckle and this is a pretty nice I mean, even the detail on the buckle and the kind of the the distinct edges and it's and it's it's thick and it's tough right there stainless steel i'm pretty impressed with that so damn damn it's good looking and i haven't even showed you the front yet because um, I've seen the pictures and I haven't really taken a look at this watch yet. So I'm going to look at it with you. Oh, 
I, I like what they did. And I like sailing, man. I don't know. After after the America's Cup, San Francisco, and the whole huge comeback, I've kind of been following it a little bit, and I'm just really, really tick it, dig it. Uh, this SP5049 is part of their Amalfi Yacht Racer classification of watches. You know, a lot of the, the watches fall into these collections, which are kind of named after, you know, like Amalfi here, like the Amalfi Coast. And what I think is just so cool about this is the look. I mean, throw out everything else. I don't even care about anything else. I could not talk to you about the movement. I could talk to you about the the construction materials. But to me, this looks awesome. I love this broad kind of like spun metal looking bezel on it. I mean, it's it, it has a diver's look to it. Um, it's not super shiny like a ceramic bezel. I love that it has kind of that circular brushed finish to it. Even the numbers here and all of the, it might be a little hard to see, but you know, the numbers and the lettering all on the bezel here are carved in. So what's ended up happening is, I'm not sure if it was plated, you know, plated rose gold and then, you know, they cut in and kind of finish the top in black. It's kind of like an anodized black or something, but all of these... Uh, numbers and design elements are reliefed into the bezel and they are in rose gold too which looks fantastic i mean it looks sick i'm just gonna gush over this watch a little bit all right um, you have a big triangular marker up the top here uh, it is a non-moving bezel um, just beautifully polished finish on this side you know right on the bezel and then contrasted with a brushed finish on the case and then just some of the elements you know like brushed finish on the top part of the lug but on this angle cut here on the lug polished so just you know what i love when they kind of you know take care of the details on things you've got this uh red pusher up here and that's because of the features which is going to be a, it's going to be a lot of tribute to yacht racing and and because i'm not a yacht racer so someone hooked me up with a yacht so I can get into it. Um, I'm not going to even know what all these things are for, but I'm going to do my best to just kind of tell you. You have big crown protectors against the crown, some big kind of gear cuts uh, on the edge here, spinnaker logo, not only just like laser etched in there, but that's kind of deep. It's it's like cut into the, to the crown there. Maybe not the easiest thing to see. And then a pusher down here, which is going to be exactly the same as the pusher, but obviously much more subtle because it's in rose gold too. Now, it does have a countdown timer, and you can see right here, 5, 6, and 10. And that's a 5-minute, a 6-minute, and a 10-minute countdown timer. And that's because, apparently, it has to do with, like, the starting. You know, you queue up in the starting uh, box, and then you, you want to kind of be ready, depending on what your countdown is. Let's call it 5 minutes. Uh, kind of heading towards that starting line so that you got to get a running start. You know, sailing's a little weird like that, that you don't, you know, it's not like foot racing or horse racing where you're all dead stopped in a gate. You know, you want kind of momentum and speed and inertia on your side as soon as that horn blows and starts the race. So it's kind of its own unique thing. And so really good yachtsmen out there um, know how to time these things down to the second so that the, 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 front edge of your boat is rolling across that starting line when they blow that that horn and it's apparently it's not just like arbitrary that's why they tell you exactly when it's going to start so if you're good and you have a good timepiece you can you know try to feel that out now <laughs> i've also seen especially in that uh, america's cup race where you get up to the line and you realize you're closing in too fast and you got to pull away and then you kind of screw yourself so it's really actually dramatic and exciting I don't know. I guess maybe you don't think it might be. So big, kind of manly, masculine bezel on it. And here's what I want to do here. I want to show you something else. I've got my calipers out here. I'm going to turn them on. And I want to show you the size of this watch. It's pretty big. But I think it, it this a watch of this kind of presence demands it. So uh, let's pull this open here and then try to be ginger with this thing. <laughs> Um, you know, uh, crown to opposite edge, you're looking at 50 millimeters. Now, uh, I'm going to do edge to the edge of the protector here, and we're talking 48 millimeters. Now, let's also just do kind of the, the case, the bezel itself. 
46 millimeters. So what we have is a watch that for all intents and purposes is a big watch, but as 46 millimeters on kind of what the, you know, the major part of the watch, I think it's wearable. Let's put it, let's just put it on here. And so uh, you can see what this looks like. Yeah, I wear 47 or 48 millimeter watches on a daily basis anyway. So, I mean, I'm not, it's no problem for me, but a lot of people will be like, that's too much. You're not a football player. Um, you know what? But I'm, I'm, I bling. I floss. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like wearing big watches. Does this watch feel like a 50 millimeter watch when you count the crown? To me, no. I mean, I will say that it doesn't feel like a small watch. And certainly, you know, if this thing were all blacked out, it'd still be a decent sized watch. But I'll be honest, there's so many design elements here. The, the, the rose gold is kind of bold. You've got that flashy little red pusher there. Um, it's more of the design and the look of the watch that is screaming for attention, not just the size, but man, it's comfortable. I mean, I don't have it all buckled down here or anything, but this rubber is nice. I usually drop rubber straps off of watches right away because I like the feel of, you know, leather or even a bracelet, but man, this is so comfy. Um, I'll be honest, man, I could just wear this just like this. I might just go to bed with this on. I love it. It's sick. I love it, I love it, I love it. If we take a look at the inner dial of the watch, I mean, things just start getting crazier, right? Look how deep and uh, steep that outer ring is, right? That outer bezel. You've got those really fine, fine graduated marks here. It says chronograph right up there. I believe what we have basically is a tachymeter function all the way around. I've talked about tachymeters before. I love them. Now that I've figured out how they work, I've never needed one, but I do like playing around with it. Tachymeters are good for uh, determining speed. And this thing is loaded up with features. Um, I think it's using a Seiko 7T84, 7T as in Tango, 84 movement. Uh, quartz movement and you can see time timer chronograph alarm. Let's let me show you how this bad boy works Screw down crown here beautiful easy to get to so what you have to do is you have to unscrew the crown And that's going to release the crown and this is going to get you into The a position which is basically kind of your execute position uh, To get it into the mode position. You're going to want to move it into the B position it's an A position when, as soon as you unscrew it, B position is when you one stop when you pull it out, and C position is the second position when you pull it out here. And this, the C position is for adjusting the date and time. Well, and actually, for adjusting the time, you can see it here. I can adjust the time, and then the B position is where you're going to select your mode. Now I'm in the B position, and I can adjust the date. Just right down there at the four o'clock in that little circular window. But the B position is also where I can change the mode. So right now, as you can see, this little mode arrow is in time. And if I hit the top button here, it goes to timer. And what's interesting is this is this countdown timer. And if you look at all these little blocks here, they all represent one minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down here, you have a five, six, and a 10 minute countdown, which represent those colors. So right now I've got it in three minute countdown mode. Now I could adjust this uh, in the timer mode by pushing this bottom button. There, see, so it went from three minutes to four minutes. I could go up to five minutes or six minutes, whatever, whatever you wanna do. And then go back to the A position, which is kind of your execute position. So now it's ready. You know, I've got the crown still unscrewed and I'm in the A position. And if I hit this red button to start, you can see we're counting down now uh, at six minutes. Um, and that's just gonna keep going like that until it reaches zero, at which point I think it's gonna beep uh, with that kind of chronograph beep like, so that's your countdown timer. Now I can stop it here and reset it back to what we did. But if I go back to the B mode where I can 
switch between modes. If I hit this again, now we're going to go out of timer and I'm going to jump to my five minute countdown timer feature. If I see, goes to five minutes. Six and ten will be the same. So if I go to six, it's going to go to six minutes. If I jump here to my preset ten, the countdown timer is going to go all the way up here to ten. And what's interesting is the blue here represents the blue there, red to that orange, and then the white is the, the last five minutes. So you kind of have, a, you know, if, even if you're not watching this little tiny uh, countdown timer up here, you have your second hand, the stopwatch chronograph hand, kind of replicates that on your main dial too. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little sailing feature. Now, if I hit the red again here, we get to chronograph. And what I can do, everything kind of lines back up to 12 o'clock, push it back into the A position, and now this red button is just going to be a plain old stopwatch. Tick, 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 right? And then what we'll do is we'll start counting minutes in this sub-dial here. But I'm going to stop it and reset it. Kind of swings all the way back there. So, and then the last one, if I go back to the B position here and hit the red button, we go to alarm. So you could set an alarm here if you want to. I don't really use watch alarms anymore, but uh, you could certainly do that. So we're going to go back here to time because that's what you're probably going to use this bad boy mostly for. And I'm going to go push the crown all the way back in and screw it in here. So that's the functionality of it. Now you can also use that chronograph. I won't get into how the tachymeter works here, uh, but uh, if you do want to use it to kind of track your speed, you certainly can do that. You just basically, whatever interval you're going, let's say you know it's a it's one kilometer you just time it out do 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 time it into and then hit stopwatch when you cross one kilometer and then these little numbers here little they're kind of big 80 85 90 95 wherever that chronograph hand stops will tell you what your uh units per hour are so let's say you're doing a kilometer or you did one kilometer and you the chronograph hand got right here, you know, you're not doing 90 kilometers an hour pretty quick, right? Not really realistic for sailing, but maybe cigarette boat racing. Um, so that's kind of a quick overview of the movement. Pretty awesome. Digital movement, I think, is, is pretty nifty here. But then, uh, you know, all of the stuff that's going on in the dial is pretty crazy. You've got the little wave pattern and the uh, kind of etched in the dial. You've got uh, those little wave pattern on the back, kind of like you Lise Nardin. You have uh, circular pips on most of the hour markers, square on kind of the four main ones. And then actually you're missing it at the three o'clock because you have this rose gold spinnaker name and the spinnaker logo. What's also pretty cool here is that the uh, countdown timer up here and then also the mode is also like in a, oh, like a rose gold-ish. Maybe even more kind of like a brass, you know, um, kind of somewhere in between. It's it's a pretty subtle difference in like a a a, a bead blasted type of matte um, metallic finish, and it looks like they're bolted onto the dial. At least the top one is, but they're certainly um, above the dial. They're certainly applied because there's depth to them, etc. Uh, there's a rose gold ring around your ticking seconds hand right there in red. And then your hour hand is a blue triangle, minute hand has a red uh, outline. I just love it. I mean, I <laughs> I just love this watch. Um, this watch is going to go on sale here soon. And uh, May is going to be the when it goes on sale. And I think maybe officially on May 22nd. I, like I said, I was able to kind of swing this because I was going to promise to take a look at it too. But um, I love it. I'm going to wear it. All right. I'm not going to wear it because I wanted to give this one away, which again, pains me. It's not the first time I've looked at a watch and I've said, um, giving it away pains me, but look at this official timekeeping partner of the 49er class. It's a limited edition watch. Now, I don't think it's going to be a numbered, a limited edition, but if you want it, you better get it. Um, but I like this so much and the spinnaker watches are usually such a good deal. Like honestly, I mean, 
quartz movement, but look at all the functionality on this. That's been super reliable that these watches have taken a beating, that they look good, they feel good. I mean, they, they, they certainly look like a watch that costs a lot more than it does. And I've just really, really liked it. So this one is really cool, unique. You know, if you like sailing, you got to get it. If you like the style, you got to get it. I really like it. Check out their website for some of the other color variations. Because if rose gold and black isn't your thing, they, they have this 5049 Amalfi Yacht Racer watch in some other color schemes. And I think they look incredible. Incredible. Like I said, I'm going to burn a few more bucks and see what I can get. I'll show those with you, to you too. The presentation on this whole limited edition spinnaker for the 49er class because they are the official timekeeping partner is really really cool um, i want to give this watch away and i want to do it in a way that's fair uh, to be honest like i said i have a patreon page i was thinking of making this my first patreon only giveaway so what do you think about that be a patreon subscriber that's the only way to be eligible i didn't think it was super fair yet so despite the fact that I want to keep this watch and not give it away, I do want to give it away and will give it away on July 8th, 2017. Um, the way that you're going to enter this giveaway is going to be a little bit different than the previous one. So uh, pay attention here. You know, the giveaway is going to be limited to people in Canada and the U.S. only because that's where I can afford to ship it to. Uh, and I would appreciate you liking this video and subscribing to my channel. But the way you're going to enter this giveaway is go into the description on this video and find the link to the Facebook post. I'll also try to post it up here on the video itself if I can. Um, but then go to the Facebook page post about this video on my Peter Von Panda page and like that post. Uh, if you like that post, on July 8th, 2017, uh, I will pick one random liker uh, for that post and then reach out to you, making sure that the, the, the person who likes it lives in the U.S. or Canada. And if so, then I will get this watch out to you so that you can wear it. I think it is a fabulous looking watch. Um, I'm going to jump online today because apparently the videos are going to or the watches are going to be available today and see if i can buy uh some more in different color combinations and show those to you as well so check it out if you want to buy this watch go to spinnaker-watches.com and i will put a discount code below which should be pvp30 pvp30 which should get you a 30 percent discount on those watches which is what i'm going to use as well so uh, follow the link to the Facebook post and like it, and hopefully you will be wearing this watch after July 8th. Peter Pump, hand out.